Alright, so what's going on guys? The Walking Dead Season 5 is finally here and we have a shit ton of stuff to talk about because if you guys seen the first episode of Season 5, you would know that it was insane. Okay, so first things first. The episode, and by the way, before I start, I wanted to say this now. This episode shall contain spoilers, so if you don't like that, you should not watch this video. What I recommend you to do is watch the episode and then come back to this because there's going to be a insane amount of spoilers. So first things first, uh, we start off with Rick, Daryl. No, 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 yeah, 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 I had it right, I had it right, I had it right. Rick, Daryl, Glenn. Um, geez, what's the other guy's name? It's been so long since I've seen it. Um, Bob, Bob. So it's all of them, and it's and it's three or four other guys, and. They take them into this, uh, into this room, and they have them lean over what seems to be like a, kind of like a, not a tub. Well, yeah, I think it's like a tub. Yeah, they, they lean them over in this room, and they're, they got these bats, and this guy's like kind of just swinging it, and, and Rick and all of them are handcuffed, like, basically head over, or like, kind of like their, their waist on up is kind of like hanging over this little toilet, not toilet, I'm sorry, but hanging over this, uh, tub looking thing, and the guy's just swinging the bat, getting ready to knock him out. And then, so this is what he does at, at the very beginning. He gets the bat. He goes upside the first guy's head. Now, mind you, this was, uh, in order, it was, it was three or four other randoms. Then it was Daryl, Glenn, and Rick. And there was Bob at the very, very end. And he gets the bat, goes over his head, just completely, bam, knocks him out. Probably caused a concussion and fractured something. And then the other guy grabs him by the neck. Pulls him back and slits his fucking throat. He just slits his throat. I was like, oh shit. Like, like, like he just did like it was nothing. I was like, oh god. And then they do it to the next guy. Wow. Knocks him out. Holds his neck back. Slits his throat. Now mind you, so they're getting knocked out and their throat slit. And like the others are looking like, oh shit, this is about to be me. Holy shit. So finally, he walks up to Glenn. He, he, he like cocks back. And then that's when, um... Gareth comes in and then he's like, uh, you know, what's your, I think he said, what's your count or something like that. And then they fucked up. So they had to like, I guess do something. And then out of nowhere, there's like this massive explosion and out in the forest, you know, there's, um, and I'm assuming that the others were, well, actually I'm not assuming. I know the others were in the other cart as this was happening to the other main characters, which are Bob, Glenn and Daryl and Rick. But, um, yeah, there's this explosion and before beforehand, uh, there was this guy doing something in the woods, and luckily, Carol and um, Tyrese found him. They, st they they held him up in a room, and they like kind of like tied his hands up. I forgot what they used, but they tied his hands up, and they were just sitting there talking. And then um, Carol decided to go on and do her thing and find uh, Terminus and see if she can get everyone out. And the other guy is trying to get in Tyrese's head while he's like kind of like. No, he's not. I think, I think they put tape around his hands or something. And he's just talking or whatever. And he's like, you know, you're going to die. If you keep living like this and the baby's going to die. And then Tyrese, <laughs> Tyrese is like, you think you're going to kill me? <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. God dang. And then um, after that, it got into like a point where this guy was trying so hard to get into Tyrese's head. And then... Because the thing about it was, once Carol found, um, she brought, like, this super awesome, badass, high-tech sniper rifle. Once uh, Carol got to Terminus, she shot this tank, and it caused a massive explosion. That's what caused the explosion that saved Glenn's life, and everything just shook. It was crazy. Like, it was a, it was probably one of the most explosive moments in The Walking Dead history. It, fuck, it was insane. She was crazy insane. So, after that... Um, Massive explosion, and then, what's his name? Tyrese goes to look outside, and he's like, you know, like, shit, what the fuck happened? And then, out of nowhere, the guy gets up, runs to the baby, because they had Judith with them. He runs to the baby and holds her by the neck, like, like her head, and he's like, back up. It takes only one snap, and I'll snap her neck. And I was like, oh, shit, is he going to really kill the baby? And then... The walkers come, and he's like, get outside, go back outside. So he's making, so he basically, Tyrese is a good six feet away from him. And he makes him drop the gun because Tyrese also had a gun on him, obviously. And he's holding the baby like he's about to snap her neck. Like he like she's like in her little whatchamacallit. I don't know what that is. It wasn't it was like a weird little basket looking thing. And he's about to snap her neck. And he makes Tyrese go outside with the walkers. So Tyrese went outside. Uh it, it was crazy with so many walkers. He ended up killing the walkers, getting inside and beating the shit and killing the guy who uh or killing the guy who um who was threatening Judith. Now, what I don't get is, 
he was punching him repeatedly saying, I'm not going to kill you. Because the guy basically said, you need to kill me now. And he was like, I'm not going to do it. But we don't know. Ultimately, we don't know what happened because we never seen a body. And the golden rule with movies and TV shows is that if you don't see a body, they're not dead. For instance, Batman, uh, what was it? Batman The Dark Knight Rises? I think, I think that was the last one. Um, what happened was Batman grabbed the bomb and he went all the way out to sea and then boom and then like, you know, we don't see anything. We just assume Batman died. But like I said, the golden rule, if you don't see this character die, he's not dead. So we don't know if he's dead. This could come back and bite them in the ass later. I don't know. Tyrese is a he's, he's, he's kind of soft now. I don't know what happened, but he probably probably just didn't kill him at all. But I don't know. Hopefully he did kill him because I don't want this to come back. And as the explosion's going off, Rick grabs a knife, shanks the dude with the bat in like in the back of his neck, and then uh, the other guy was like, oh shit, oh shit, and then Rick put like a, a knife in his throat or something like that, like in his jugular, took it out, killed him, and then everybody broke free, they were getting their stuff together, and the other four that, um, that were like the randoms, they already died, so yeah, and as Bob was getting ready to put like a knife in one of their, like in their, in their skulls, Rick was like, you know, just no, leave him to turn. Because they're using the walkers to make this massive, like, genocide of hell so they can break free. Because they can handle walkers. They've been doing this shit for years now. They can handle walkers, but they need the walkers as, like, a distraction to get out and break free and get their friends and family. So, um, basically, after that, they, fu they like, they're going through Terminus and they're seeing how fucked up this place really is. It was ridiculously bad. And they're just going through and they're getting, um, they're getting weapons. Meanwhile, after Carol caused that explosion, she killed the walker, put the guts on her. Like, you know, you know that, that old trick where you kill the walker, put the guts on you, you just kind of blend in with them. That's what she did. She blended in and as she was walking through, they were shooting the walkers and she was like, oh shit, I can get shot if I don't, if I don't, you know, if I don't watch out. So what she does is she gets behind, she gets by this door, like, it's kind of like in a little, small, little secluded area. She pops, like, three guys, two or three guys in the head, and then she goes into this room, and as she's walking, she she sees these candles, and, and it was just, like, weird shit on the wall where they sacrifice and kill people. And then this one chick comes in, but I think it's the lady who welcomed them to Terminus in the first place, and um, she's like, turn around, I want to see your face, and then... Carol does some awesome ass Matrix shit and she turns around and bah! just completely fucks it, fucks her world up. But she ducked and then they got into it because like um, it became like a, a, a little wrestle and a tussle. And eventually Carol won, held the gun and she was like, you know, where, where are my friends and all this and that. And then <laughs> she didn't want to say nothing. So she got popped in the leg, popped like straight shot in the leg fell down and then see me i'm a i'm an evil son of a bitch so what i would have done i would have lit her hair on fire and then just left because there was a bunch of candles everywhere but what she did was she opened the door and she let the walkers in and the, the cool thing about it was it was like the walkers were on her side because she just simply opened the door and they just walked past her but remember she has the guts on her so they don't want to go after her because she just they think she's one of them so the walkers supposedly got to her carol walked off while that other chick was shot in the leg and that weird fucked up room or whatever that is and then after that you know they finally rick and the others they finally get back to their uh their family open the cart everyone breaks free but before that there was something that really something really cool that happened um as they were like kind of walking they were like walking at shooting the zombies and rick and uh rick daryl and the other ones you know they were hiding behind the car so they were just waiting for that last guy to pop through so he can grab him take his gun and just shoot the rest of them so Rick walked up to him, just did some kind of cool military cop type stuff, and then took his gun, and then mass, like completely massacred the other ones, like just, bah, 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 he had an AK-47, he was just screwing them all up, he massacred them, and then turned around, like it was all cool, like it, it was really cool how he did it, so he massacred them, and now everybody's free, they get their friends, break through, and you know, everybody, everybody's safe at this point, well not safe yet, but everybody's free at this point, so they all just, get together and they jump over the gate and they they're free they're finally free all the all the the suffering is over and then as they're you know as they're getting back rick's like you know this isn't over because he wants to go back and kill gareth and and, the, and whatever's left of these guys and he's like you know they don't get to live which i can understand why he feels like that because a lot of people you know i'm pretty sure and even the group said themselves you know we should go we're free this is over they're either gonna run or just die at this point and you know, they're like, you know, they're going to run and die. But Rick has learned from the governor. If you don't kill the enemy then and there, they will come back and end this. If Rick would have put a bullet between the governor, like the time in uh, season three or yeah, season three, when they first met, 
they uh, it looked like the governor was trying to reach for his gun, and Rick drew his gun with the quickness, and he um, he could have killed him. Ultimately, he could have killed him, but you know. The fact that he didn't do that caused so much drama in season four. Because of that, you know, Herschel died. And it, it, even more people died before that. I'm not going to get into that. But basically, Rick has learned that if you don't kill the enemy then and there, that it could come back and bite you in the ass. And he's learned that. He's. I'm glad that he's finally seeing that. But in a way, m me personally, I kind of don't think I want to go back and kill them. We're free. We went through hell to find each other after the whole whole prison massacre and, and walkers and the governor i think we should be glad that we were all alive so just just i, I don't know just somehow I, I don't know but rick has his reasons and i'm pretty sure that he knows what he's doing so now that that's happened they're all getting the you know rick's getting the uh their, their hidden bag that they had in the ground or buried and then carol comes out of nowhere and it was a really emotional scene between her and daryl and it was emotional with um you know just everyone hugging and the family is finally back together if you think about it if you look at their group it is just as big if not bigger than the one in season one because if you think about it in season one we had the black girl can't remember her name we had andrea her sister rick shane uh i don't want to count merle but daryl laurie carl um uh, uh, what was the old guy's name? I can't remember his name. Uh, damn it, what was his? <laughs> I can't remember his name. He was one of my favorites too. Uh, Dale, Dale, we had Dale. We had, we had a whole bunch of people, and now their group. If you can, if you go on Google Images and Google their original group to the group they have now, it is insane. I can sit there and name names all day, but their group is a lot bigger now, and I'm so glad that they're finally like together because, like I said, they've been through hell and back with the whole prison thing from season four, and. It's basically good just to see them together. So after that, um, they're walking and then they see Tyrese with the baby and Rick drops his gun and gets his baby. And it was even more emotional and beautiful and happy. And I was like, yes, they're fine. It was one of those moments in move in TV shows where like when they get together or like, you know, you're just like, oh, my God, it's so wonderful. It's so good to see them happy for once because The Walking Dead, it's, it's, just, it's a miserable, miserable pack of shit we, we you can't deny that at this point it's just a sad 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 world and it's happy to see the character it's really good to see the character smile at least one time so after that it, it was beautiful it was great and from then on um at the very end of the episode they're walking and it says terminus you know come to terminus sanctuary y'all yada yada rick um he gets some dirt and he he kind of like wipes all that off and he puts no and then he leaves sanctuary so it says no sanctuary while all the other words are kind of like grayed out by dirt and i'm glad he did that so he can let people know that's not somewhere you want to be it, it, it's just overrun by walkers just like you know a lot of places now like the prison it was once this sacred fortified place that they end up killing all the walkers in and now it's overrun by walkers same thing with terminus so it, it, it was just crazy like i mean after all that's happened and then we get to see negan from the comic books if you guys read the comics you know who he is and what he did was he um basically i guess his group just kind of raided the um his group kind of just like raided terminus what was left to kill all the walkers threw the guys in the cart so these new guys came and treated gareth and his group like bitches threw them inside of the cart and like they're just raping their women now they just don't they just don't give a fuck they're just raping people so rape the women threw them in there and i like he and you know gareth and the other guys like you know we're gonna fix this we're gonna we're gonna take the take everything back it's gonna be okay and negan's like no it's not and i was like oh my goodness at least i think that was negan if you guys know who that is let me know but i think it was negan so i'm just gonna call him negan for now but if you know let me know in the comment section but anyways back to what i was saying so it was really cool so we have a new villain again we basically have two villains now we have two villains in the walking dead so i mean i don't know it, it, it just looks insane i can't wait man it's it just it's turning out to be so great this is the best way to start season five i i just hope it's better than season four i pray because season four to me was kind of bland but hopefully this can hopefully this can be really good and at the very end we get somebody we have been wanting for so long yes we have morgan morgan is finally back and once he joins the group it's gonna be over it is it's like having another shane essentially because they're not gonna kill off morgan it's just not gonna happen so basically we have almost like another shane and like another kind of like daryl too because he knows how to survive and he also has that badass mentality and then like there's so much training and and learns how to fortify himself and he knows how to shoot he's a good shot it, dude it's gonna be amazing i cannot wait 
Morgan is finally back. I mean, I was I was happy to see him season three. I was so excited when I saw him in season three. I was like, oh my god! I was freaking out. I was legit freaking out when I saw him in season three. And it's good to have him back. Hopefully, we can learn more of his backstory between him leaving uh Rick leaving him and his son dying and all that stuff. So that's basically what happened in that episode. And I actually seem to cover this in 15 minutes. So comp so um Jeez, it was just amazing. Like, I can't really, I don't want to stop talking about it, but I basically talked about everything I want to talk about, and I don't want to ramble on and become repetitive. So let me know what you think of the episode. Um, it was amazing. I would say I would give it at least a 9 out of 10, or even a 10, actually. I give that shit a 10 out of 10. It was a fucking amazing episode. So comment below. Let me know what you think of the episode, and I will catch you guys in the next one. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. Peace.